Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to the neighborhood where people choose to smile. It's a beautiful day, won't you stay for a while? Happy in this beauty wood, it's neighborly and kind. Of all the neighbors in the world, happy that you're mine. Let's make the most of this beautiful day. While we're together, we'll laugh and we'll play. Won't you be my neighbor today? Hello friends and neighbors, welcome to my neighborhood. Thank you so much for choosing to spend some time with me today. It is a beautiful night. It's nighttime today. And look at Tommy the turtle, he has already gone to bed. And I am already for bed, I'm in my pajamas, and I have my slippers on. And do you know who this is right here? Well, this is my special friend, this is Ed. When you're getting ready for bed, do you ever have those special friends that you need to sleep with to keep you comfortable and to cuddle with? Well, this is Ed the platypus, and he is one of our special friends. You want to wave hi, Ed? Do you ever like to pretend that your special friends have personalities? Ed has some things that, that we'd like to show you. Do you have a favorite sport? There's not a lot of sports going on right now, but Ed has a favorite sport. What's your favorite sport, Ed? Ed's favorite sport is baseball, and he even has a little baseball hat that he likes to wear to cheer for his favorite team, the Orioles. Yep, that's Ed's favorite team, the Orioles. He likes the orange and the black. And Ed has a, he has a favorite kind of music, too. Can you guess what Ed's favorite kind of music is? You want to show us, Ed? Okay, do you need your, do you need your instrument? Okay, Ed's going to get his instrument. I'll get it for him. All right, Ed, show us what you got. Ed likes rock and roll. This is Ed's guitar. All right, let's put your guitar down, Ed. And sometimes, sometimes Ed needs to think really hard. And he likes to read books sometimes, too. And when he does that, he puts on his reading glasses so that he can see better. And he likes to, he likes to help with things. So sometimes he puts on his glasses so that so that he can see and so that he can concentrate really hard. So, so this is Ed, he's our special friend. And well, when we were younger, when I was younger, Ed, he was, you know, it was pretty important to me to have a special friend to sleep with, to cuddle with at night. And you know what else is important? A blanket. Do you have a special blanket that you like to sleep with? This is one of my son's blankets that he's let me borrow to show you, it's, it's, it's as big as I am, which it's important to have a special blanket, I think. And, you know, you can cover up with it and you can cuddle with it and sometimes you can even hide underneath of it. Maybe, maybe you like to, maybe you like to take a flashlight. I think I have a flashlight in here somewhere. Maybe you like to take a flashlight and, and go under your, your blanket or Maybe you like maybe you're having trouble sleeping, so you have a you have a book that you like to read. And I have a book here. Sometimes I like to read things when I can't sleep or when I'm trying to just wind down and relax to go to bed. So this is a book all about birds. I like to learn about birds. And you know, sometimes when I was young, when I was little, sometimes when I was I'd stay up later than I was supposed to, so I could take my book and I could take my flashlight and I could hide under my blanket. And then I could read, and my parents didn't realize that I was still awake. So I'd hide under here like this, and I'd turn my flashlight on, and I could read my book. All right, so w when you go to bed, when it's nighttime outside, you know, when I was little, it would get really dark, and I was afraid of the dark. Are you ever afraid of the dark? It's okay. It's okay if you are. It's okay to be scared of the dark. There's nothing to be afraid of, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't make us feel uneasy. So sometimes we like to have a nightlight. So I have a little nightlight here. 
that we'll turn on. It's just a little bit of light. You know, then maybe after a while, when you don't need so much light, you can switch to a smaller night light like this one. And this one, this is a special light. Let me show you how this works. Ed, shall we show them? Okay. I have to grab the extension cord back here so I can show you how this works. So we're going to plug it in, and it just plugs into the wall. And then it has this thing called an electric eye. And the light comes on when you cover the electric eye or when it gets dark. So when, we, when we're hiding the light, when it's dark inside the house, then that little bit of light comes on. And it's just enough light that we can see. So maybe, maybe you have a night light like I do. One of the things that I like about the dark, a couple of things really, I like that I can go outside and this time of year when it's, when it's mid to late summer, there's a lot of sounds out there that I like to listen to. There's a lot of insects. They kind of have their insect symphony going on out there. And I also like when it's a clear sky and I can see the moon and I can see the stars. I have some, have some pictures of the insects that we hear out there and maybe, maybe we can go outside and listen to some of those insects. What do you think? So let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Ed sit in my chair with my blanket and I will show you these pictures of the insects that I have. And these insects that we'll hear outside. There you go, Ed. So let me bring them up here where you can see. So where I live, outside at night, we get to this time of year, we get to hear crickets. And the crickets, they rub their leg, one of their back legs, along one of their wings, and they make this chirping noise. And then there's also grasshoppers that are out making noise at night and they, like the crickets, rub their wings together and their wings against their legs. And then there's also these guys, katydids. They are one of my favorite. They kind of look like a leaf. They're a, they're a bush cricket, I think is what they're really, really called, but we know them as katydids. And then we also have cicadas that are outside. And they're, they all make a different noise. They, and all together, there's all kinds of sounds out there. What do you say? How about I change my shoes and we'll go out there in the dark and we'll listen and we'll see what kind of sounds we can hear. What do you think? Do you ever like to go outside at night and listen for those sounds? You know what else is fun to do? It's, it's a little late in the summer now. It's a little too late where I live now, but about a month ago, we could go outside and we could catch what we call lightning bugs or fireflies. And they're little bugs that blink. And it's fun because they come out right when it starts to get dark. And then they're flying around in the sky and they're blinking. And they were fun to, fun to catch and maybe put in a jar for a couple of minutes. But I always like to let them go so that they can go home safely to their families too. All right, so I got my shoes. And I'll grab my hat there, and let's go outside and we'll see what we can find. I'll meet you out there, okay? I'll see you in a minute. Okay, friends and neighbors, here we are outside on our deck. Can you hear that? Do you hear the insects? They're really, they're, they, it's like an insect symphony out here. They're playing their tune. I hear the crickets and the grasshoppers. And I hear the cicadas back there. I can definitely hear the katydids too. Can you hear them? It's just a wonderful sound. I love it. It reminds me of summers when I was a kid. I had so much fun playing outside at night. And I still like to be outside at night and listen to these sounds and these songs. I would love to show you the stars too, but I live in the woods, so you can't really see the stars this time of year. So I, I put together some constellations that I like to show you. Do you know what constellations are? They are pictures in the stars. It's when there's stars up there that astronomers found, and they sort of draw imaginary lines in the sky, and they connect these stars to make pictures. So I've poked some holes in some pieces of paper here, and I think with my flashlight, 
we can kind of trace the stars and we can see what it is. This is called the Little Dipper. And it's made up of seven stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it makes the shape of a dipper or a ladle. You see it there? All right, let me show you another one. This one is called the Big Dipper, and it's the same idea, but it's shaped a little bit differently. We have seven stars, seven stars that come together to make the shape of a dipper or a ladle, and this one is much bigger. That's why it's called the Big Dipper. It's a lot bigger in the sky. If you, if you look in a book or if you go on the internet, you can find out what constellations are in the sky where you live during what time of year. And you can look up there and you can find these pictures in the stars. I wanna show you one more. This one is called Orion. And this one was always easy for me to spot when I was a kid because these three stars in the middle that make his belt, he was a warrior, I believe, or a hunter. These three stars in the middle that make his belt were always very bright. And he's made up of eight stars. There's one, two, three, four, his belt, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that was nine stars. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sure enough, he is made up of nine stars that create Orion in the sky. And so these are huge constellations, and the people that discovered them and labeled them, they would connect them in the sky with these imaginary lines to create these pictures. So I would love to hear what kind of, what constellations are in the sky this time of year where you live. Maybe you could leave a comment of what you found up in the sky and I'd love to know what kind of insects or sounds that you hear outside this time of year. You know, all this, all this sound, these insect songs, it makes me want to sing. So you can grab my guitar and we'll, we'll sing a song together about these crickets and grasshoppers and cicadas and katydids. Here we go. I hear the crickets, grasshoppers too. The cicadas are singing their songs. I hear the katydids too. They're singing their song. It's an insect symphony. I like to sing along with them. I hope they like singing along with me. I hear the crickets, the grasshoppers too. Cicadas are singing their song. The katydids too. Singing a song, a insect symphony. I like singing along with them. I hope they like singing along with me. I hear the crickets, the grasshoppers too. The cicadas are singing their songs. The katydids too. Okay, what do you say we go back inside and I want to show you, I have a grasshopper in there that can make his own noise. Well, we can, we can make the grasshopper make noise. I want to show you that. And I also found a cicada outside today, a cicada that has, that has died, unfortunately, but I want to show you exactly what he looks like. So I'll see you back inside and I'll show you my big grasshopper that we can make sound grasshopper sounds with, and we'll take a look at that cicada. That was really fun. It's hard to believe how loud those insects can be. I hope that you could hear them. Here, Ed, can you hold my guitar? It's a little big for you, but you'll be okay. Okay, let me change my shoes and hang my hat up. I'll show you this grasshopper. Boy, I hope that you like to I hope that you like to go outside at night or get a chance to go outside at night so that you can listen to the sounds 
that are around your house too. And, you know, those sounds may be very different than the sounds that I hear at my house, and I would love to know what it sounds like outside of your house. Maybe you could, maybe you could leave a comment or maybe share a little video of what it sounds like at your house. Now let's see, let's find, let's find this grasshopper. So this is my wooden grasshopper. And he has this little stick that lives on his back. And what happens is you turn him over and you rub the stick along these ridges and he's hollow in there and he makes a sound kind of like a grasshopper. hear that? Did you hear that sound? Did you hear a sound like that when we were outside? It's pretty cool, isn't he? Did you notice my glasses are fogging up a little bit? It's because it's in the summer, it's really humid. There's a lot of moisture in the, in the air and in the atmosphere. And when we go from the air conditioning of our house outside to where it's warm and humid, that condensation, that moisture condenses on my glasses and it's a little hard to see. Let me set the grasshopper down. I will clean my glasses off and then I will show you this cicada. So I've, I've glued him down on a little piece of paper because to be honest, I really don't like picking up bugs too much. Uh, but this is a cicada that we found and this is one of those bugs, one of those insects that we were hearing outside. He's pretty, pretty cool looking. All right, well, let's put him back down. You know, I think it's just about time to sing our goodbye song. Ed, you're gonna have to, uh-oh. Ed fell down. Ed, are you okay? He's a little cranky. He'll be all right. All right, Ed and I, we're gonna sing our goodbye song for you, with you. But you know, before we sing, it occurs to me that light, you know, we have these lights that we can turn on now. We have light switches and it's just, you turn it on, it turns on a light bulb and like this, this night light over here it just has a switch right on the light. And Tommy the turtle in his tank, his light's on a timer that it comes on in the morning when it's time for him to wake up and it goes off at night. And boy, before we had light bulbs, what did we have to do? We had to light candles if we wanted light. It's, it's, really, it's really nice that we live in a time when all we have to do is flip a switch and that light comes on or goes off or even we have a light that's on a remote and I can just turn it off, turn it back on with the push of a button. Pretty cool things. All right, well, I'm thankful for light bulbs and I'm thankful for lights so that it can be bright inside, but I'm also thankful for the dark outside so that we can see things like the stars and that we can hear the bugs and the insects as they sing their symphony and I'm thankful for the for the dark because I like to sleep in the dark it's hard for me to sleep when it's really bright out all right let's sing our goodbyes Will you sing with me goodbye for now take care my
See you next time.